If you're looking for a new waterproof bag, do I have one for you? Welcome back to another Carryology video where we help explore better ways to carry. My name is Dave Sam, Carryology gear reporter and gear junkie. Today we're taking a look at a new bag from Osprey from their Arcane lineup, the Roll Top 25. The Arcane lineup is best known for the sustainability features that they design each and every one of the bags in the lineup with. Those sustainability features are going to be things like Blue Sign certification and using recycled materials. And a big shout out to Osprey for sending us the Roll Top 25 so that we could take a look at it and share our thoughts with you all. <laughs> For those of you who know me, we always start with the outside of the bag and the Osprey 25 or Arcane 25 here sports a very sleek, minimalist aesthetic on the outside. It comes in three different colorways, this ranger green, a red, and then a flat black. You can see that there's two materials uh, on the outside. Both are actually a 420D recycled nylon. Uh, they have the same weave, but there is kind of a difference in the coating of each material that helps give the top and the bottom some additional waterproof features. And one of the nice things about this material that I really like is that it also has an IPX4 rating. Uh, which basically means that it is going to be waterproof, uh, especially when you're talking about that rain pour, downpour, snowfall, any of those types of things. It's not going to be submergible, obviously because of the roll top here, there's no full way to, to close up the roll top. Uh, so it's not going to be fully submergible underwater. Also with the IPX4 rating, those ratings, basically that number is indicative of the pressure that the weave or the technology or whatever it is can handle. Handle. So for an IPX4 rating, really strong, great against kind of torrential downpour. But as soon as you start to get deeper and deeper into that pressure, maybe the one or two meter mark, you're going to see that this weave will start to seep a little bit of water. So definitely do not want to submerge even the bottom of the bag. Now you'll see on the top, uh, the roll top has its customary feature or its namesake feature uh, in the rolling top. When you open it up, it is it has kind of two ways to close it. It's got these really nice, strong magnets. If you want kind of that streamlined look and approach, this is, I would say, my preferred look. And then you can see I've already used uh, the roll top features quite a bit. You can also very literally roll this down and then use this hook on the back here to get a different aesthetic, a different look for the top of the bag. It also allows for a little bit of expandability so that you can uh, utilize the entire length and add a little more to the bag. All right, lastly, just wanna talk about the harness system on the back. At the very top, you've got this nice nylon weave top handle. Uh, it is padded along the top, so uh, when you grab it, it is pretty nice to hold, although it is fairly thin. When you go to the actual back panel uh, over here, you can see this kind of honeycomb shape that outlines everything on the back panel. What's nice about this is it does allow for air to flow in and out of either your shoulders or your back. The honeycomb shape goes all the way through the spacer mesh and the foam that sits in the shoulder pad and on the back paneling. And you can kind of see through in the light here. <laughs> a little bit you can see through. On the shoulder straps as well, they do have this kind of rail system here that supports the sternum strap. It's a pretty simple sternum strap, pretty light sternum strap overall. And then it does also have this nice little whistle here attached to it, again, if you get caught out. When you go to the back panel, what I like about the back panel, and you can, again, start to see that here, is you've got this air channel right across the middle of the back here. And this air channel is gonna be really great for getting air to flow through your back. It is super nice though, I will say, being honest, I've really only worn this in the winter so far. So ultimately, haven't had to experience that much sweat. Uh, we'll see what happens. Last but not least, on the bottom, we do have a pretty simple hip strap here. No padding or anything, just some simple nylon straps. For a bag this size, they are removable. I would pretty much always take them off. I was gonna use this for regular daily carry, however, if I was going to go hiking with this, if I was going to get wet, uh, might want the hip strap for that added stability. If you're not here, it's raining, it's 
not raining super hard, but I did want to show just a little bit of the waterproofness of the backpack. And we'll do a little bit of a better field test here. You can see handles moisture really easily. Just gonna slide right off. A little Osprey water bottle here. Um, just to show. Got my stuff in here. So, I was just using the magnetic side. Laptop, completely dry. Pillow, cloth pillow. Completely dry. Quickly jump into the inside of the bag. This section's gonna be fairly quick because there are only two pockets and they are no frills whatsoever. Across the front here, you have a really nice protected pocket that has this YKK AquaGuard zip underneath, uh, as well as this really strong flap across the top. When you open that, and you can see how difficult it is to open, super, super secure. I would even go as far as to say maybe add another little slit like you have on this side, uh, just to make it a little bit easier to use this while maintaining some of that stability on the flap. And then we have a super flat pocket here. There is, again, no frills, no organization in here. I'm using this for my phone. I'll throw my wallet, maybe my headphones in there. Um, but just some of that simple, simple daily carry stuff that you need quick access to. All right, moving on to the roll top closure supported by a nice little metal, metal slash plastic buckle here. Nice big roll top, again, creates a little bit of space in case you wanna have a few additional items in there, you're out for the day, you need some of that wiggle room for expandability, or you can use the two magnetic closures. Uh, when you get inside the bag with the angle there and this divider, the silver divider is basically the only thing that's in here. What's nice about the silver divider is it's going to separate, it's padded, it's going to separate your laptop or your what I'll call critical tech items uh, from the rest of what's in your bag. And it also is about one inch from the bottom of the bag. So for any of those items, it's also gonna keep them off the bottom, which is fairly soft. The back panel does add a little bit of support back there, uh, but I still wouldn't drop this too hard. Enough space for at least a tech kit. So I've got a pretty big, this is the two liter Civic panel loader uh, tech kit. Fits really nice and easily in there. And then in the laptop section, I just have my laptop. Now there was a bit more room in here. I could have easily fit things like my headphones or tripod or something similar, uh, especially as I'm using distribution. But one of the things to note about the inside of the bag and basically the way the material is used here is that there is very little wiggle room. There's not a lot of stretch. Basically, as you're pushing things in here, uh, you are going to be sacrificing space on the inside. There's, there's really no give. So something to keep in mind as you're packing a bag like this out. Additionally, the Arcane 25 and I believe the 18 as well, there are two sizes to this bag, come with a little laptop or tech caddy which is, or at least looks really nice. I did not receive that, no worries though. Um, looks really cool, it looks like you can fit about a 16 inch laptop or most 16 inch laptops in there. And then it also has some additional zippers and compartments with some stretch pockets and things that you can put your pen, spare battery, uh, spare hard drive, any of those things, and you can keep them in that caddy. And then you can remove it from that laptop sleeve. So it is big enough to fit that entire caddy with the accessories. And then if you're out traveling or something, maybe you're traveling for work, you can just pull the caddy out, go to your meeting, and leave the bag. All right, moving on to the recommendation. Basically, if you are the kind of person that has a fairly light EDC, you're really, really keen on having a waterproof bag, this might be the bag for you. It has those two features in particular. Uh, it's nice, it's sleek, it's got a little bit of variability in the way that you can carry it, but most importantly, it is truly, truly waterproof. Additionally, you might be interested in this if you're really keen on sustainability. This bag is, again, Blue Sign certified, so basically all of the uh, processes within the production process 
um, are using sustainable methodology, sustainable materials, and you can really believe that this is a sustainably built bag. Now, if you're somebody who needs more flex in your EDC, or perhaps you just have greater organizational needs than this can provide, you might want to look elsewhere in the Osprey lineup. They have other 25 liter, you know, laptop or tech forward bags. They have other bags that may just be more suited to your needs if you do need that additional space or organization. Thanks for watching another bag review by Carryology. Let us know what you think in the comments below about the Arcane 25 or other bags in the Arcane lineup. And while you're down there, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and get notified of the new content that we drop on a regular basis so you can stay in touch with all the things that we're doing. We will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.